and how difficult it is for an Indian here to cope up with the German education system. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, then my name is Shraddha and today I'm going to interview Arjun who is studying renewable energy, which is a field which is in great demand in Germany, great in demand because of our carbon neutral by 2050 goals and this is why I'm interviewing Arjun because this field which is called renewable is in great demand and also many other fields and uh, streams can apply. So let's talk to Arjun and discuss this field and let's see what all you need to, in order to apply and study in renewable energy in Germany. Let's get started. So here he is. <laughs> Hi. Hello. So Arjun, what was your profile uh, for uh, your bachelor's? If you could share your profile to get admission in renewable energy. So I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and my grade was uh, 9.4 CGPA mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I did my ILTS, my grade there was 7.0 mm -hmm. then I did my internship in uh, design engineering and green modeling mm -hmm. and also worked for a year in design industry and yeah that's it yeah so your bachelor's grade was 9.24 which is quite good okay so this was your profile did you have any work experience yes uh, i did an internship for six months mm -hmm. uh, in engineering general engineering department for yeah. design industry and manufacturing industry yeah and then i worked for as a junior design engineer for a year okay in the same company Okay, okay, thank you Arjun for sharing that. So my next question to you is which other uh, profile or which other students stream can apply to this uh, field? For example, you are from mechanical, can electrical person apply or electronics and communication, instrumentation, so which all field can apply to this course? Many fields can apply, for example, I am I am from mechanical and there are so many mechanical engineers who are in my course then there were electrical engineers also then uh, process engineer then industrial engineering field and, uh, electrical electrical engineering yes i only mentioned that instrumentation maybe my... yeah, instrumentation but uh, civil engineers also okay but it all depends on how many applications were, were there mm -hmm. during the application period and also on the coordinator like university is requirement requirement that okay this person should so but yeah many fields can be eligible for renewable energy okay. yeah my next question is what are the requirements set by the universities for taking admission in the renewable energy course i think i have mentioned that i i am from Hochschule Nordhausen, University of Applied Sciences Nordhausen and my course is Master of Engineering in Renewable Energy Systems. Uh -huh. So if I talk about my university, there are not any special requirements uh, from the university. But yeah, uh, your grade, your German equivalent grade should be uh, less than 2.5. Uh, ILTS is around 6, uh, six band. Uh -huh. and. Uh, Maybe if you have an internship or you have a, about internship and work experiences, it is not mentioned on the university website. But if you have, that would be an advantage for you. Then there are new rules from the university now that if you have a 210 ECTS bachelor's degree, then your course would be of 90 credits and uh, for three semesters. Mm -hmm. And if you have a 180 ECTS credit uh, bachelor degree, then your course would be of four semesters of 120 credits. Okay. And where one semester would be a uh, uh, some pre courses, pre -course, mm -hmm. something where you will learn about almost every field like mechanical, electrical, civil, etc. So yeah, these are the general requirements. There are not specific. There are no any specific mm -hmm. requirements for that. But yeah, if you have something, for example, gate score or uh, your work experience related to the renewable energy and like that, that would be an advantage for you, of course. 
I understand that each and every university has its own requirements. So, for example, I got uh, one of the admission letters from uh, Renewable Energy in Ingolstadt, um, EH Ingolstadt, and their instrumentation field was also expect, uh, accepted. But I see some of the students say that instrumentation field is not accepted. So it depends on the university and their requirements. But yes. now let me ask you the next question, which is, uh, what is the curriculum looks like in Renewable Energy? Which all subjects do you have so a bit a basic or a brief introduction of the curriculum that you are studying See, subjects like bioenergy photovoltaics wind energy solar thermal energy fuel cell systems and so much more you have options of motion energy also mm. and uh, rural energy the rural area how you can mm -hmm. use the like bio renewable energy into rural areas so okay. there are so many subjects like that but uh, yeah all in all you will learn almost every subjects of renewable energy and then you have a semester projects where you can of course uh, uh, select your uh, particular interest of subjects and you can do projects on that mm -hmm. and you have labs of wind energy and uh, photovoltaics and the solar thermal so yeah okay a lot of subjects yes a lot of subjects like there are almost 13 14 subjects you have to do mm. and those are every field's subject and how difficult it is for an indian here to cope up with the german education system well, was it a challenge for you since you were a topper like 92 percent 9.2 cgpa so how difficult did you find german education system well i would say it's uh, well, it's my experience, but uh, yeah, it, it was easy for me than India maybe mm. because here you don't have to mug up mm. everything or you don't have to fill pages. Yeah. You will learn basic fundamentals about the subjects and the questions in exams also will be like that only the fundamentals. Mm. Basics, know, fundamentals, yeah. yeah. So I would say that uh, it was easy for me. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it depends on the person but yeah in general German education system is quite good mm -hmm. you know, okay and easy yes and for Indians easy. yeah okay not that difficult yes okay what is your current CGP if I may ask you I am currently doing my master thesis so mm -hmm. but I have already completed my subjects and my average grade in like German grade mm -hmm. is now currently 1.5 GPA mm -hmm. which is around 90% yeah, I think so. Almost 90%. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Good to know that you have such a great uh, a CGPA also here maintained in German grading system. But next question is, you mentioned that you are doing internship uh, and thesis. You are doing thesis. So, where are you doing these internship and thesis and uh, which other institutes or companies can students apply uh, with respect to renewable energy? Yeah, so for the internship and thesis, I'd like to say that you can choose your specialization in renewable energy where you want to go and then accordingly apply to internship and thesis for that. Mm -hmm. uh, if I talk about me, I have did my internship in university mm. and it's kind of a university and a research institute so I did my internship in simulation mm. uh, simulation of thermal storage mm. and now I'm doing my master thesis at Fraunhofer Institute mm. which is about uh, energy economics and system design modeling for the future energy systems mm. so yeah but you can choose your specialization and there are so which institute are you doing about research institutes like uh, Fraunhofer which is one of the largest uh, research institute Fraunhofer and DLR mm -hmm. and there are health Moles institute and so many research institutes mm -hmm. for renewable energy and there are so many small and big companies for uh, the renewable energy field mm -hmm. so it is not hard or it is not difficult here to find companies and research institutes if you want to do your internship and thesis. It's just that you have to have right skills and uh, hard work you have to do uh, to apply for the thesis. 
that's true you have to take the initiative and apply as many applications as possible develop the skills there are many opportunities uh, but of course you should have the right skills and the right mindset so my last question is what is the scope of renewable energy like when, after studying which all fields can you apply uh, for the job so again it depends on you in which field you want to go there are uh, several possibilities after your masters for renewable energies uh, you can go into research and development you can go into project management then there are simulation industry then design industry also manufacturing also for the solar panels for example so yeah it all depends on you in which field you want to go but uh, there are so many possibilities you can and which uh, companies can you name one or two companies that people well, can apply for renewable multinational companies it's waterfall uh, mm-hmm. then there are uh, shell you can go into shell also then there are total energy also here in germany mm-hmm. there is one company called solar watt so it's so like there are so many companies here mm-hmm. uh, you if you just google it you will know that uh, here in renewable energy there are so many companies and many small scale yes, companies scale companies also uh, particularly for uh, project management and uh, that kind of positions mm-hmm. because they work at a small level and project based work is there okay Thank you Arjun for uh, yeah giving us the insight and also telling us the important uh, field that we don't know much about but that is renewable energy and the scope of it because many of my viewers are interested to study in Germany and they want to know which field is in demand which course they should take where can they go is their degree eligible or not so thank you so much for bringing us all the insights and also for featuring again in this video and i'm happy to cover <laughs> and i'm happy to cover your journey so thanks for sharing your journey to Germany So guys please like this video and subscribe my channel if you haven't already and I will see you with more useful information next time then bye bye <laughs>